Who's your prepping nurse? That's me, Sally. Um, stay tuned for a video. I'm making a real quick breakfast. Realized after I filmed it, they didn't actually include a picture of what the ingredients are. So here they are. I used the Gossner whole milk um, and the buttermilk pancake mix by Melville. Both of those came from the Dollar Tree store. I got them not too long ago, so prices should still be the same. The milk was $1.25, $1.79 for the buttermilk. Uh, it does call for water with the pancake mix, but I decided to use the milk. It gives a little bit creamier taste to it. Um, I have got the Sweet Harvest fried apples with cinnamon. That came from Aldi, and I believe it was $1.69 for that tin. Um, and then I've got the blackberry jelly that I got at Menards. It was part of the, um, I've got the price on it, $2.79. I said it was under $2. It wasn't. It was $2.79 for it. Really good taste to it. I like preserves better, but the jelly is really, really good. And it's got a good date, just noticing it, until 24 on it. Uh, so stay tuned and take a peek at what I made. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Who's your prepping nurse? That's me, Sally. I am doing a real quick breakfast here. Um, these are all things that I got either on the $25 challenge or on the $5 challenge. That um, $5 is the one that Sassy Gal Prepping had and Linda's Prepper Can Kitchen, had, or I'm sorry, Linda's Prepper Pantry had the $25 challenge. Um, what I used was the Millville Buttermilk uh, pancake and waffle mix. I got it at the dollar store. It was $1.79. I got it not too long ago, so hopefully the price is the same. It calls for water, but I used Goshner um, whole milk on it. Um, it gives it a little bit creamier taste, and I just really liked it. For toppings, what I'm doing is making little mini pancake or sandwiches. Um, the This one has got the blackberry jelly on it that I had gotten at uh, Menards actually and I can't remember the price but it wasn't very expensive it was under two dollars for it this one is going to have the fried apples with cinnamon on it that came from Aldi's and the syrup was a little bit more um, thin than what I liked so I did add some let me turn this off here I did add some uh, honey to it to help thicken it up some and then I'm also just making an egg sandwich with this which you can put meat on it um, for the last part of the batter I did add uh, some maple syrup to it because I love McGriddles put a little bit of shredded um, uh, cheddar jack cheese on it and this is going to be the top for that one you can actually put anything that you want to on it it is your sandwich here is some of the apples on it i'm going to you know what i'm just going to drizzle some of this syrup down here because it'll set better um i made this the other day for myself just to try it out and actually it was really good and i had just the single it on a single plate a single one of these on a plate and not only did i put the apples on top of it but i put it down along the side of it like that and actually you could do that with the blackberries if you have any fresh berries to it and sorry about that um you can also if you want to dress it up a little bit i got these at the dollar tree they're the bakersfield dark sprinkles they were a dollar 25 and if you really wanted to dress it up some you could add a little bit of the sprinkles to it you could even turn this into a dessert um because you know sometimes we just don't have the stuff to make really fancy expensive dinners desserts with so we make two and actually this dollar 25 bag will go a long way for me just sprinkle a little bit more onto it and that's it so you know you've got a nice breakfast a nice dessert you know if you're having guests over if you want to just do a little tray um, where you've got some appetizers and things, this wouldn't be a bad thing to portray on it. You can use any kind of topping that you want to. I could actually even break out maybe some whipped cream with it. The batter is not a real sweet batter. It is a buttermilk batter. 
so the whipped cream would give it an additional layer of taste to it. But um, I hope that you've liked this video. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. And um, let me know if you've tried this, what you think of it, or just give me your opinion on what you think of it, period. The rings came from, I believe it was called World Kitchen or Kitchen World. I've had them about five or six years now. They do still sell them. I saw them on the internet and they do a wonderful job. Just be sure. I used a um, spray uh, like Pam on it. Well, one I used was avocado oil, but it makes it easier just to lift the rings off. I just used my tongs to do that and the rings came off really easy. So I hope you all have an awesome Thanksgiving that you are spending it with loved ones, um, that you are counting your blessings because we do have so many blessings in this country. Uh, it is so rough for so many and especially some of them that are in other war torn countries, not just Ukraine, but the other countries. So everybody take care, have a happy Thanksgiving, and we'll catch you on the next video. And above all, stay safe, don't give up, keep your eyes focused, and expand your knowledge, expand your supplies, and just keep going. Take care, everyone.